do the same thing. You may worry about your knife being sharp, but Ken Butler worries about sharps and flats. And if you think a shovel's only good for digging out, check out the Jimi Hendrix of shovels. Even a broken string doesn't stop him. And the next time you fumble with your umbrella, imagine fiddling with it. His face intense as a concert violinist, only his Stradivarius is a toothbrush. And no, the string isn't made out of dental floss. Is there anything this guy can't play? A screwdriver doesn't work because you can't put a tuning peg in the end of the screwdriver and you know, there's no place to attach the string at the tip. A toothbrush, however, you can drill a hole here and there, and then put a little screw in for a bridge, and then you can bend the string. By Many of Ken's instruments consist simply of strings and a microphone for amplification. The microphone is, is right here. Ken was among the performers at a concert featuring experimental instruments with weird names. Grab chords, whirlies, and pyrophones. Sponsored by the World Financial Center's Arts and Events Program. <laughs> There was the beep mobile featuring horns and a carpeted tuba. There was a device called the stomper. You couldn't exactly tap your feet to the music of Susan Rawcliffe. She makes weird flute forms out of clay. I call this a howler. Named after the noise made by howler monkeys, no wonder Susan branched out to ceramic bananas. And though some experimental instruments left kids in the audience sitting on their hands, Ken Butler certainly put some zip into the performance. We recommend against practicing this instrument out in public. Ken has created around 300 instruments. The idea for me really was never to make something that was humorous. He thinks of it as transforming existing objects and to hammer home that point. Playing a hammer is easy. After all, Ken started on a hatchet 20 years ago, and you thought slicing a bagel is risky. It's not that sharp, so as long as you don't point it, as long as you, you don't push in, your Ken was actually trained as a visual artist, though he's played viola, jazz, piano, and guitar. He even has a CD called Voices of Anxious Objects. Sometimes he's the object when he pops a mic into his mouth. This is a guy who really uses his head. Most CNN, New York.